morning to all. Today is Tuesday. Which day? Tuesday. And this is our English grammar class. Which class? English grammar class. So, do you want to know the topic of today? Yes, I know you want to know the topic. So, today's topic is preposition. Which topic? Preposition. So, to know about preposition, we should know the definition of preposition first. What? Definition of preposition first. So, the definition is the words which say before any noun or pronoun and may a relationship with the noun or pronoun with the other words of the sentence are called preposition. Okay, the word which say before any noun or pronoun and may a relationship with the noun and pronoun with the other words of the sentence are called preposition. There are so many examples of preposition. Okay, so let's look at this. In, on, to, at, of, into, over, ever, for, before, among, between. There are so many preposition in the word. Okay, so let's read again the definition of preposition. The word which say before any noun or pronoun and make a relationship with the noun or pronoun with the other words of the sentence are called preposition. Now we will watch the uses of preposition in a sentence. So look at the sentence. The first one is the students are in the classroom. The students are in the classroom. Where are the students? In the classroom. Look, here E is a preposition. And it sits before the noun classroom. And it makes the relationship with the students and the classroom. Okay? So, E, the preposition, make the relationship of students with the classroom. Next sentence, she is sitting at the station. At, at is a preposition and it sits before the noun station and it made a relationship with she and station. Last one, the books are on the table. On, on is a preposition, it sits before the table and it made a relationship of the book with the table. So, these are the preposition and it sits before any noun and make the relationship of the noun with the other words of the sentence. And now, where we should put in? Where we should put in in a sentence to describe anything into something. Where should we put on? We have to put on to describe something on it. Which should have a touch with a thing. Okay. So, these are the uses of preposition. There are so many uses of preposition. There are definitions. There are uses of preposition. And there are variations of uses. Like on, over, ever. There are so variations of their uses. And we will learn the variations of the uses in our next class. Okay. So, students. You will have to learn this definition of preposition in your home and remember it many, many.